Hi again. Today video will be about two new features which is added in uh, recent firmware M4 which is released last week. It's about programming trigger functionality and about programming output voltage and current with list of values. Let's start with trigger functionality. Trigger functionality allows you to set output voltage and current on one or both channel what is initiated with some event. We have four different type of trigger event. That four triggering source can be found under new page in system settings trigger source we, we can see that we have bus immediate manual and pin 1. Immediate means that when init skippy command is received that trigger will be activated. Bus it's similar to immediate but after init firmware will wait for another skippy command asterisk trg. Next one it's manual that means that you need manually touch the screen to initiate triggering system and pin 1 it's uh, first digital input which is here on the push-in connector under position 7 you need to use 7 and 8 for ground that means that some external process can initiate changing of output voltage and or current one or both channels for the trigger there is a, some other possibility first it's to define the delay how much time trigger system will wait after the trigger event is initiated. Uh, when use pin 1 we can define polarity positive or negative that means that system will wait for changes from negative to positive or from 0 to 1 or vice versa from 1 to 0 and the last one it's initiate continuously that means that the trigger system can be repeatedly initiated. On the channel side we added a new tab triggering settings and we can see that each channel can be set in one of three trigger mode fixed that means no trigger it's used list or step that means that when trigger is initiated we can define what will be a new a new voltage and current and from this page we can also go to that general or system trigger settings which is shown before okay and uh, now we can see how it looks like with uh, with trigger enabled uh, now when we go from off to on now we have a new pop-up menu and initiate trigger will means this so that you will see that a new current and, and voltage is set as we defined here or we can go with new okay once again yes and now we have some new values or uh, now we have possibility to set that to fixed and after that trigger it's disabled we can see that it's fixed uh, we need to go back to step to change that okay let's say 40 here one here and now we can see that it's up to 40 there is a, some extra stuff here for example if I try to do this uh, that means that output will exceed maximum power which is 155 watts we'll get something like this power limit exceeded so we cannot continue in this condition if we want to use a manual trigger 
let's say like this we'll see what what we'll have here and on the trigger event we can see the change okay I can put it to zero and once again it's set to triggered value to step value if you want to use external signal for trigger we can do this first I will connect that wires okay and set here pin 1 uh, go like this and now on trigger we'll have again some indication that trigger it's waiting and now I just need to apply and it's here if we want to see how bus source works we will need some Skippy terminal I'll use easy studio Skippy playground and make a connection Here I can check what is the current trigger source. It is manual and I need to change that to bus. Here I can also check what is a step value or triggered value for voltage and current. Or I can change that to something else. And now I can initiate trigger system. And this is visible also here that it's waiting for trigger. And now we just need a command to start a trigger. Okay. We can use the trigger when channels is also coupled let's say in series set here okay I'll need another okay and now we can again set let's say step to 50 volts to 2 amp and initiate uh, let's see okay it's uh, still in the bus mode I'll change that to something else let's say just to immediate okay and we have a new values we can also use trigger uh, when channels are in the tracking mode okay that means that both channel it's now controlled from one place step a new 
value could be like this for voltage or one for current. Okay, we can now even use delay like three seconds to see what will happen. And when initiate the trigger and click after three seconds we will get something here 